I'm Dr. Grace Wayne. I'm an OBGYN with the BJC Medical Group, and I want to share with you a little information about obesity and how it specifically relates to women. We hear a lot in the media about obesity lately. Some people are calling it an epidemic, and we hear mostly about the risks in terms of general medical risks, increased risk for diabetes, increased risk for arthritis, increased risk for heart disease, but not a lot of attention on how it specifically relates to women. And there are very specific effects of obesity that are unique to women, and that's what I want to talk to you a little bit about today. When we talk about obesity, we talk about it in relationship to a BMI, or which stands for a body mass index, which is a ratio of your height and your weight. And it's something that if your physician hasn't talked to you about your BMI, you can very easily ask he or she what it is and where does it fall in terms of the parameters. There's lots of charts online um, that you can look up and print out for yourself. And again, you can calculate it yourself if you have a height measuring stick. You can mark your height on the wall and measure it with a measuring tape in centimeters and then weigh yourself and calculate your own BMI and look it up online on a chart. And if you fall outside of the normal range, I would highly encourage you to speak to your physician about that to figure out how far out of range you are and what would be a reasonable goal for you to try to achieve and over what time frame and by what means. One of the things that we see very commonly in women who carry extra weight is abnormal bleeding, abnormal periods. This is a known side effect from the extra estrogen produced by the fat cells that overweight women carry. And this can lead to a condition called endometrial hyperplasia, which can then even progress to cancer. And I don't think women are generally aware of their increased risk for uterine cancer as a result of carrying extra fat cells on their body. That's just one of many risk factors. One that I see a lot, although women come to me not knowing this is their problem, is obesity in relationship to infertility. We know that women that carry extra weight have subfertility or even infertility which are different ways of defining how difficult it is for a couple to conceive. Not only is it harder to get pregnant if you carry extra fat or adipose tissue, but once you get pregnant, you're actually at increased risk for additional problems with the pregnancy. Women who are overweight or obese are 1.7 times as likely to have a miscarriage as their counterparts who are closer to their ideal body weight. Not only are you at higher risk for miscarriage, but higher risk for problems with the pregnancy that can actually affect the baby during the pregnancy in the latter half. You're more likely to develop hypertensive problems during the end of the pregnancy, sometimes even as severe as preeclampsia, which can mean having to deliver the baby prematurely. Increased risk for having babies that are large for gestational age or too large, which means that then they're at increased risk for having problems after birth, controlling their own sugars, as well as a difficult passage through the birth canal, which leads to an increased risk in cesarean sections among obese women. It's a large increased risk for cesarean delivery, and then once you have a C-section, your healing time is much longer if you are overweight because it's much harder to heal that thicker layer of subcutaneous tissue when you're overweight. In addition to pregnancy-associated risk factors, we also worry about an increased risk for breast cancer, and I will say the media has devoted more attention to this because of the greater focus on breast cancer and breast cancer prevention, but we also know that one of the greatest things that women can do to reduce their risk for breast cancer is behavior modification. So limited alcohol consumption, but also trying to reduce some of the excess weight that they carry, trying to get back closer to their ideal body weight. And the real take home message from all of this is that I hope I'm offering women who carry extra weight more motivation to try to lose that weight by healthy means, by exercise, by diet, by consultation with physicians, in order to try to reduce their risks for a variety of risks factors that they carry that are unique to women and unique to them as being overweight women. We can reduce your risk for endometrial cancer, breast cancer, and increase your chances of getting pregnant if that's what you desire, and having a healthy full-term pregnancy by trying to maximize our body weight.